Hello and welcome back to Busy Man Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to review a fantastic series that I consider a hidden gem on Netflix. The series is called Tokyo Trial, a four episodes historical drama that was made in 2016 and is based on the events of the International Military Tribunal for the Far East that convened on April 29, 1946. A trial that was expected to last about six months but dragged on for two and a half years and concluded with a 1,212 pages verdict that took seven days to read out in court. The tribunal was formed based on a charter issued by General Douglas MacArthur, the supreme commander of the US Army in Japan and the Pacific. The charter generally followed the model set by the Nuremberg Trials that was held in Europe for the Nazi war criminals. What is exciting about this trial that it was not only about exacting justice, but it was also about the effects of politics and media on the course of the events. And I'm glad to say that the series succeeded at showing us the complexity of the situation, especially when it dives into the issue of the different interpretations of international laws and the very essence of justice. We see this conflict through the eyes of Justice Rowling, played by Marcel Hensema, who successfully portrayed this complex character of an unbiased jury who struggles to maintain his autonomy despite of the constant pressure from his peers and the political leaders back home in Dutchland. We also see him struggling with loneliness, which he tries to overcome by writing letters to his family back home playing the violin and traveling to meet with a famous Japanese writer and scholar called Michio Takayama. And through his conversations with Mr. Takayama, we get to see the perspective of Japanese people on the events of the trial. Also, Irfan Khan, as Justice Pal, stole the show in episode 2. His arguments about whether Japan waging war was a crime of aggression is really thought-provoking, especially when he points out to the hypocrisy of the West, as few of the countries represented in this tribunal are colonialists themselves. Another controversial issue was based on why only Japanese war crimes were considered, while allowing the US to get away with all the atrocities that they committed during the war on the Pacific. For example, the US bombed Tokyo killing around 100,000 civilians in one night, not to mention the two atomic bombs that devastated Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All these controversies and arguments were presented in a clever yet easy to understand dialogue that was delivered through a great cast which contributed to making this series gripping from start to finish. I also love that they recreated all the places where the real events took place, especially the way they filmed the events of the trial, where they inserted real actors in the real footage of the tribunal, while keeping it in black and white, which felt truly immersive as if I am witnessing history in real time. The music score was also on bar with every other aspect of the series. I found myself searching and listening to it on YouTube, especially the opening theme. Although the series did a fantastic job in showing different controversies and points of view in a balanced manner, I found myself thinking and researching more and more not only about the tribunal, but also about the reasons why Japan plunged Asia into a long and deadly conflict that ended in a catastrophe. To learn more about the Japanese invasion of China and Asia-Pacific War, I recommend that you go and listen to a great podcast called Supernova in the East by Dan Carlin. He does a great job researching and delivering big historical events in a gripping way through his hardcore history series, which I will link in the description down below. So if you are looking for a gripping and thought-provoking series that you can binge over the weekend, do yourself a favor and go watch Tokyo Trial. And as always, feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video and want to watch further Busy Man reviews, feel free to give us a like and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another video and another busy man review. Until next time.